And I like the delivery of run, run, almost as if you're starting an engine, which is what they are. A, a fucking engine that only needed their two feet as gasoline. That was a beautiful high note by Jemin. Holy shit. So is, is this like kind of talking about the inception of, of the group? 10 years waiting, we from the bottom, I don't want to go back again. Is V talking about like back again to the start of it all? Like to the point where they thought that BTS wouldn't, they wouldn't become part of BTS? Let's, okay, let's, okay. let's go, let's go, let's go. Another wait, wait, we from the back. I got your back, back. Oh my god. Damn, Jimmy. Oh, I like this. I like this. Two bare feet are or gasoline. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, they're kind of essentially almost talking about how they were ready to take over the shit like they went off instantly going 200 miles per hour right from the get-go grinding and just going crazy and taking everybody by a storm essentially that was too many essentials Jimin is fucking stealing the show. I like this. Run bulletproof. Like, essentially, you have to be bulletproof because of everything that comes with the territory of being so fucking famous as, as BTS is. Like, famous is an understatement. There are some groups who cannot just be described as just by famous. And Jimin is just... I love the vibe of the musical arrangement. It's so dull. I love this. What the fuck? I'm kind of checking out uh, the lyrics on genius.com. And uh, when Sugar is talking about it was raining in the studio and he names the studio in Yongdong, that was terrible pronunciation. I apologize. They're, they're essentially, and in the beginning, they mentioned that studio again. They're reminiscing about the days. Uh, of how they started. And it does say that the seven member group was living together in a tiny sized uh, dorm apartment in Seoul, uh, which had two rooms, the bedroom stuck with bunk beds and mattresses for all of them, and the living room, a small kitchen and one bathroom. <laughs> that's, that's quite a bit. And actually the lyrics on genius.com literally say, I was right in the rain leaking studio. Whereas here in the lyrics, it does it just says it was raining, which kind of to me didn't necessarily make it sound like literally raining, but it sounded more like a metaphor or something. And uh, again, he's talking about the reason behind Bang Tang's uh, success. I don't know if there's something like that. All of us just ran hard. All of us pretty much worked our asses off and grinded to to the fucking maximum and didn't even think about success. We just thought about doing everything that is possible to uh, 
to wreck shit up. And they did. Suga turned into a Twista here. Holy shit. If you know who Twista is... Like, run BTS, literally, you. all we had is our two feet, and that was that, that's all we needed. And also, uh, what RM says towards the end of his verse is very interesting. You said you're hot, oh man, you're not. Above the one who flies, above the one who runs. Like, which essentially kind of means that like, there's always going to be someone better than you. And is this, like, almost a bragging line like bts was better than everyone else they were flying while everyone else was running essentially they just took off to such an extreme height that was unimaginable this is really really cool that's a beautiful run, run, yeah, you gotta run, 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 yeah, you gotta run and I like the delivery of run, run, almost as if you're starting an engine, which is what they are. A, a fucking engine that only needed their two feet as gasoline. I love the aggression. And uh, John Cook's delivery there was absolutely beautiful. And the transition from having Jimin do those high notes first, and then Jin was absolutely beautiful. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go! Run, pull up, pull. Oh, I like this. I love this. Literally reminiscing like what an ignorant belief it was to just run with two legs, but that's the way we did it, essentially. Like kind of now that you made it to think back that how it all started and like would you do it again this is really really wonderful stuff <laughs> like it, it could also almost be considered as ignorant oh yeah this is awesome Oh, I love our arms. Do you on this? I love how this song was still kind of optimistic, even though the the music itself, the instrumental was kind of aggressive. And the last portion of mentioning each of the group members individually, telling that you all did a great job. It's kind of interesting because I read something that BTS are going on this hiatus and are perhaps uh, thinking about or about to pursue like solo careers or something. That's very interesting. Uh, in context, because they mention each group member individually rather than just be like, we are one group, uh, which is really, really cool. So like all of you did a great job and every single one of the group members was essentially uh, acknowledged. This was an awesome song. And I love that despite the aggressive nature of the actual instrumental, it was still kind of wholesome. It was really, really nice. And uh, I absolutely loved it. 
Uh, it's definitely kind of a a nice change of pace from yet to come. And, you know, the other positive song that I heard by BTS uh, was Butter. So to hear, to go back to something a little bit more aggressive was really, really cool. I absolutely love this uh, instrumental, the little break, the intermission section essentially uh, was really, really cool with the uh, with the guitar. So if you guys enjoyed this reaction, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, check out the Patreon if you want to see some exclusive reactions, including Run BTS, as well as support the production of these videos on YouTube and help keep the channel going. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have a wonderful day you guys see ya